These are 20 harsh truths that if everybody knew, I think the world would be different. The world is not out to get you. That's the first one. It's the first harsh truth that more people need to realize. A lot of people think that everything is broken and everything is against them. It's not. The world isn't out to get you. The world is indifferent. We judge others by their actions, but we judge ourselves by our intentions. If I don't use my signal light, well, I just forgot. But if the person in front of me didn't use their signal light, they need to get deported to a different country right away because they're an idiot. We judge others by their actions instead of their intentions. It's a major issue with society today. If you have the ability to watch this video right now and see my face, you're probably a whole lot more privileged than you think. There are millions of people who probably wish they had the warmth that you are in right now, the comfort that you are in right now, the clothes that you are in right now. You're probably a lot more privileged than you think. Money matters a lot. And I know a lot of people say that money is the root of all evil, but it does matter. And sometimes you don't realize it because it's kind of like oxygen. When you don't have it, it's really painful. It sucks. There's no one who's poor in poverty that would wish that they didn't have money. It doesn't exist. So accept it. Accept that money is a thing that we should all start to be a little bit more comfortable talking about because it allows us to live. Most of the internet debates that happen every single day are gonna be forgotten in like three weeks. Seriously, you're really upset probably right now because something you read online. It ain't gonna matter in five weeks. It's definitely not gonna matter in five years. So just move on. Stay focused on your lane and stay focused on the things that you can control. You will never actually have it all figured out. Me neither. I don't have it figured out. I have been in my marketing career for a long time and I don't have it figured out. I've been an entrepreneur literally my whole life and I don't have it all figured out. You never will. And you have to be comfortable with that. There are people who are 80 years old, 90 years old, who will tell you while they are about to take their last breath that they never figured it all out. And I know that can be scary, but you should be comfortable with that idea. You should feel empowered by that idea that you might never figure it all out. Another harsh truth is that some of your closest friends, people that you love today, could be complete strangers in six to 12 months you're not careful. If you don't take care of your relationships, if you don't nurture your relationships, if you don't check in on your friend, if you allow yourself to just get too busy to care about them, they might truly become a stranger, even though they were at once one of your closest friends. Harsh truth, it is okay to be wrong. We all want to be right, but it's okay to be wrong. Being wrong means that you just unlocked a new opportunity, a new insight, a new idea. That's an okay thing. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Don't feel ashamed to be wrong. Be wrong more often, because when you do that, you're unlocking new opportunities for growth and development. Harsh truth, not everybody wants to be your friend. That's okay. Some people are just gonna dislike you because they don't vibe with you. They don't connect with you. They don't like you. They might not like your style. They might not like the fact that you're confident. They might not like the fact that you showed them that they, someone who maybe have, at one point was even close to you, are kind of getting left behind because you did something differently. Not everybody is made for you. Not everyone is gonna be your friend. That's okay. Keep moving anyway. Do your thing. That all said, another harsh truth is sometimes you do need to rely on other people. That's one of the beauties of wor the world, right? Like when you think about all of the great inventions, all of the great creations that we have as humanity, it's come from the cross-pollinization of ideas. The cross-pollinization, I think that's the word. Yeah, either way. It comes from humans spreading ideas with each other and those ideas coming together to create beautiful things. You have to rely on people, but not all people are reliable. So lower the expectations or raise them, it's up to you. But at the end of the day, you have to recognize that not everyone is gonna be built like you. Another harsh truth, and I think this one's gonna hurt people, but you might be a bigger part of the problem than you think. You might actually be the root of the problem. Every single day I drive through traffic and I'm like, oh, traffic sucks. I am traffic. You are traffic. But we all complain about traffic, right? Like sometimes in our lives, we are the problem. And sometimes in our lives, we need to look at the mirror and recognize. Harsh truth. A lot of people who are bored will complain. So when you're seeing people complain, it's probably because they're bored. They don't have a lot to do. So they're just complaining on the internet. They're putting up posts on Facebook, ranting and raving about all the things that are wrong with the world and life and blah, 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 blah. 
they're bored. It's okay. Have some empathy for it, right? It's okay. Find ways to connect, find ways to ignore it and stay focused on what you're gonna do because they're gonna be on to the next thing in like 22 minutes anyway. Another harsh truth. If something on the internet sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And if somebody's telling you that they can make you 150 grand if you just sign up for their course, they're lying. They would have just did it over and over again. Send me 20 grand and I'll turn your 20 grand into 200. No, they won't. Otherwise, they'd be a multi-billionaire. No one can guarantee you that type of return. So ignore them. Swipe left or right. I'm not on Tinder. I don't know what the right way to swipe is, but don't do it. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Harsh truth, the media has an agenda. And I love journalists, I love a lot of reporters, but they've got an agenda, everybody does. They need clicks, they need visits, they need traffic. Ain't nothing on the news but the blues. Somebody said that, they might not be that wise, but they said it. And at the end of the day, you need to recognize that the media's agenda is to get your attention. They wanna capture your attention. No matter which way you are, left, right, center, I don't care. I'm just saying the media wants your attention. Another harsh truth is that falling in love with potential can actually ruin your life. Seriously. It's great to give people shots. It's great to believe in someone. It's great to believe in an idea, a project, something that you've created and think it has a ton of potential. But if you chase that potential for too long and that potential never comes to fruition, you could have gone down a very, very lengthy road to regret. So sometimes you have to do a gut check. Ask people in your circle, ask people in your, your network whether or not an idea is actually worth chasing, whether or not a person is worth chasing. Because sometimes the answer might not be what you want, but it is what you need. Harsh truth, graveyards are filled with a lot of regret and unfulfilled dreams. And a lot of young, good, great, amazing people. So just cherish every minute you've got on this planet. Take that shot. Take that risk, because at the end of the day, you never know when it's gonna end. Harsh truth, in 150 years, no one is gonna remember you. No one, no one's going to care. You're gonna be dead, you're gonna have your ashes spread and you're gonna be in the ground, but no one's gonna remember you in 150 years. It sucks, but it's true. Harsh truth, you can be super passionate about that idea and that idea not serve you. You can be super passionate about a person and that person not serve you. You can be super passionate about a ton of things that don't actually serve you. Just because you like something, just because you like someone, just because you like an idea, doesn't mean that it's going to like you back. Doesn't mean that it's going to give you value back. And because of that, you might have to be okay with making quick pivots and shifts in your behavior and your life. Harsh truth, you can have all the degrees in the world and be an absolute failure. You can just study, 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 and be great at school, and just fall flat on your face, and not get any job, not get any career that you actually want. And that's just the way it is. Life's not fair, life's indifferent. You might think that because you've graduated, because you had an amazing JPA, because you have an IQ of 1,933, you deserve something. You don't deserve anything. You get what you get. And if you want more, then you need to work on yourself. You need to find ways that you can improve, find ways for you to get into the rooms that you wanna get into. The world is indifferent, so find ways to break into the rooms that you wanna get in. And the last harsh truth is that sometimes you will fail even though you gave 110%. Sometimes you will give it all. You will put in all of your energy into a project, into a relationship, into a company, into a business, into an idea, and it will still not work out. And that's okay. We're gonna have flops. We're gonna have failures. We're gonna make mistakes. The difference between those who move forward, who can hear all of these harsh truths and actually proceed, is whether or not they can take them and adopt them. And the same thing happens with our mistakes. If you can't learn from them, you're gonna keep making them. But if you can learn from those mistakes, if you can accept, these harsh truths, and you can take them forward and start to behave and operate knowing them at the forefront of your life, in your career, in your own growth, you will be able to live a life worth living.